how do you determine whether or not someone has had a brain injury and then how would that affect treatment? Well, again, we have to look at what actually happened to the individual at the time. And it's absolutely critical to get as much information about that as you can. So in, in my clinic, for instance, I'll try, if I can, to get the paramedics information. I'll try to get eyewitness reports. Um, I'll call individuals who actually have been living with that individual or watching that person at work uh, to look at the whole spectrum of change in that individual mm -hmm. over some span of time and try to get that information in uh, to determine whether a concussion occurred, how bad it was, how much of that is what I need to address versus another professional in some other area of medicine.